what we say and do and think and pray in the face of war and violence, of loss and loss upon loss, violence upon violence. What do we think and say and pray when we turn to God in these times? Whichever part of the world we are holding in our thoughts and prayers. I offer these words from Jesus, from Matthew chapter 5. Words for times when everything feels difficult, when the light of hope is harder to find. Jesus saw the crowds and he went up the mountain and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. What do we hear in those words? Where do we find hope? in those words amongst loss upon loss, violence upon violence. I think we can hear the hope that we don't go through any of this alone, that no one is facing these times, these losses, this violence alone. Because God is with us that the blessing is that God is with us, even when the light sputters, when things feel like they might be extinguished. Jesus says, God is with us. God is with the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. God is with those who mourn, for they will be comforted. God is with the meek, for they will inherit the earth. God is with those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. God is with the merciful, for they will receive mercy. God is with the pure in heart, for they will see God. God is with the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. God is with those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. God be with those who mourn, so many who mourn in so many places. God be with those who hunger and thirst to see ways of love and justice and peace prevail. God be with the peacemakers. Please God be with the peacemakers so that all your children may know peace. Amen. <laughs>